We are on fire watch this evening and we begin with the latest on the Durkee fire in eastern Oregon. It's burned close to 290,000 acres making it the largest wildfire in Oregon. To give you an idea of how big this fire is, it covers an area three times the size of Portland city limits. There has been some progress over the weekend. At last check, the fire was 49% contained. The Durkee fire has forced reoccurring shutdowns on I-84 from Pendleton to Ontario. So if you plan to drive on the I-84 in the coming days, authorities recommend taking a look at triple check before heading out to find any closures along your route. The Red Cross has relocated its evacuation center in response to the spreading jerky fire. For Fox 12, Andrew Vincent spoke with organizers about how they're helping people get to safety. Previously located at the Malheur County campgrounds, the Red Cross has moved its evacuation center to the Four Rivers Cultural Center. With the Durkee fire being so destructive, they've needed all the help they can get. This was just becoming overwhelming, plus the storms coming and predicted, so sent us down here. For those coming to the shelter, they'll be provided with a few essentials. They've got bedding supplies and we can put them in touch with agencies. We'll have food for them that's uh, supplied, snacks, and just try and make them as comfortable as possible. The amount of people coming is still not known. We don't know yet, but we have to be prepared for here. We're prepared to shelter 50 people, but can make plans change as quickly as we need to. Staying safe is obviously the number one priority, but if you can, try to grab some of your most important items. I'd bring records, just be on the safe side, and any special medications, they should definitely bring those as well. Moving forward, they'll keep doing what they can to help. We're constantly working with emergency management to be prepared to move, to notify people. We keep them informed on what next steps might be or what they have to do or how their homes are affected. And we're keeping a close eye on another mega fire that is also forcing evacuations. The Lone Rock Fire is threatening nearly 800 homes in several communities, including Spray, Lone Rock, Hardman, and Winlock. This fire has burned more than 136,000 acres, and it is 73% contained. The Oregon Department of Emergency Management and ODOT want to make sure you're safe while traveling through the eastern part of the state because of these fires. They say you should pack a fire safe car kit. That should include cat litter, a dust mask to help with the smoky air, a fire extinguisher that you're familiar with using, and extra water. ODOT also suggests if you have to pull over to stay on paved surfaces and avoid dry grass and remember not to toss lit cigarettes out of your window. And lastly, they say to make sure there's nothing dragging from your car or truck that could create a spark.